In these problems, we are evaluating some exponential expressions that use this number e. Remember this little e stands for a number that's um, 2.7 something. It's a special number that'll come in handy uh, in, in all kinds of advanced math. Um, and most calculators have a way to access this number. So we'll take a look at a couple different calculators and see how that works. So when we see e to the negative 0.15, that's not a variable. That's a specific number taken to this specific power. And we should be able to do that pretty easily using a calculator. Let's try it with the uh, Windows calculator first. So one of the things about the Windows calculator is you may get confused that you can't really see an E button on here. If there was an E button, we could just use the X to the Y uh, to figure out that value. Uh, the E button is actually hiding under this 10 to the X. This 10 to the X button, the way it works on the Windows calculator, is just you just type in a power and then hit that button and you get 10 to that power. So if I want to know what 10 to the third is, I would type in a 3 and hit 10 to the X. And that's 1,000. So that makes sense. I knew that 10 to, to the third power was 1,000. Well, hiding behind this uh, 10 to the X is an E to the X key. And that's what we want, really. Um, so I can just hit this little up arrow that on the Windows calculator means show me all the inverse or second functions. So here's e to the x. So if I want to figure out e to the negative 0.15, I would just type in 0.15, make it negative, and then hit e to the x. And let's see, they want these round integers thousands, so this is 0.861. All right, so this is 0.861. Let's double check that on a different calculator. The Google calculator works a little bit differently. So if you're using this one, um, it's good to know how it works. In this case, we can just press E and the X, X to the Y key and take that to any power we want. We want a negative 0.15. Whoops, not a 215. 0.15. And we should get 0.861 if we round that. So that checks out. We've got the same values there. Let's try this one, 225 times e to the 0.2. Remember, we want to evaluate this exponent first, and it's only e that's being raised to the 0.2 power. Then we multiply it by the 225. So let's uh, let's try that. I'll use the, uh, the Windows calculator for this one. You should use whichever one you think is easiest. So I've got my e to the x still up here, so I'm going to punch in 0.2 and then hit e to the x. And then we're going to multiply that by 225. And what we get is 274.815. And let's see, did I round that correctly? 8156, so 816, aha, to the nearest thousandth. So that is how to evaluate exponential expressions that have the number E in them.